Jesus dealt with church hurt in the in the best way. All right. Um, we have no excuse as we're going through this church hurt because Jesus been through it all. He was eventually crucified yeah. by these people that called themselves people of God. All right. He was crucified for their sin, something he didn't commit. And still and still learn to forgive them. Mm. This is so essential, man, uh, when we deal with church yeah. in general, just keeping the cross before us, man. Absolutely. Um, keeping Christ before us. And he's the, he's the greatest example, man. Mm. He just, he, you know, his example alone, his sinless life forces us. Mm. It forces us to get on our knees and ask for forgiveness mm. and ask for help when dealing with church hurt. Yeah, or any kind of hurt or any kind of pain, we we're forced to go to the cross, man. That's where yeah. we have to go. Um, and yeah, dealing with this conflict inside of the church, yeah, um, it, it's so vital to remember how Jesus dealt with all of the things that he went through. Yeah, true that. Um, the theology of suffering ties into all of this, though. Yeah, and I think that, and, and this is something that we have to remember: God allows, He causes. And we could even say he wants us to suffer. Yeah, uh, because so that we might be more like Christ. Right. And that's the point that that's why he wants us to go through these things. A lot of people don't like that, too. No, that's yeah. not a common. <laughs> that's not a common suffer. phrase you that you're going to hear. Yeah, I'm going to suffer. Yeah, like God wants me to be blessed. You know, he wants yeah. me to be blessed and highly favored. It's like, well, uh, no servant is greater than yeah. their master. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If they persecuted him, yeah. you will be persecuted. Yeah. You know, and, and people want the glory without the cross. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and that's part of our journey. We're supposed to carry our crosses and follow him. Yeah. That's what it means to be a disciple. And that's important. And that, that carrying your cross part could be dealing with offenses and hurt within the within the church yeah that's part of the journey he experienced that and we're not exempt absolutely you know what i'm saying and, and so but we have to he set the standard we have to forgive right you know? yeah uh, yeah and, and a lot of people just skip right past that god like there's some people that are okay with all right yeah god might allow me to suffer right you know um and then there's the a smaller group of people that would believe that yeah god causes me to suffer sometimes yeah but then there's a very few small group of people that actually know God wants us to suffer yeah. on this earth so that he can keep on sanctifying us, right. keep on refining us, keep on making us new. Mm -hmm. and, and these things draw us closer to God. Yeah. When we go through these conflicts and this drama and these problems and this pain, it causes us to go to God. It should. It should. It should draw us closer to him. It'll make us more like him. More like him. You know? So, yeah, that's the whole, that's the purpose behind it. Yeah. Um, you know. For forgiveness, for loving your enemy, um, for knowing that Christ is the greatest, greatest example, and, and just in general, knowing God's love for us. All right. So, yeah. yeah, I got a passage I wanted to read. Acts yeah. 14, 19 to 22. It says, but Jews came from Antioch and Iconium. And having persuaded the crowds, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. Mm. But when the disciples gathered about him, he rose up and entered the city. On the next day, he went on with Barnabas uh, to Derb. When they had preached the gospel to that city and had made many disciples, this was after he was stoned. They returned to Lystra and Iconium and Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples encouraging them to continue in the faith and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of god wow 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 another example dude got stoned he got dissed he got thrown then he made disciples after they were strengthening the souls of the saints yeah you know what i'm saying so like this is the same god that said follow me as i follow christ <laughs> right man you know so that's a good example of we can't be worked up in our offense, man. We have work to do. Right. You know, we, we, we have to strengthen each other's faith. Mm. And we have to be busy in the encouragement and the, the glories of Christ. You know, giving God glory and encouraging his, his body. Right. And the enemy uses that vice of offense to mm. cause division and to cause strife within a local church. Yeah. 
So, and really, uh, offense is a very self-centered tool that he mm. uses to get us to focus on ourselves and not on his glory amongst his people. Yeah. So we have to be careful with that, you know. Any injury that you go through, your body is going to be the one, or, or you, you have this in you that you're going to want to focus on yourself mm. rather than focus on those outside of you. Right. 